Put the hands together. Even simple tasks can be a challenge for someone with Alzheimer's disease. Just open your hand again. Alison was in her 50s when she started repeating herself and struggling with her memory, but it wasn't for another six years before she was diagnosed. Had doctors been able to spot signs earlier, it would have helped her and those around her make allowances. I thought I was OK. <laughs> and it was everyone else who was saying, she's not right. <laughs> there have been times when you've, you've done, ah, in frustration. Yeah. A, that happened a lot more often before the diagnosis than now. Because now, Alison is not put in a position where she's being confronted with challenges that she can't do. But a new artificial intelligence tool developed by scientists at the University of Cambridge can identify patients likely to go on and develop Alzheimer's when they still have only minor problems with their mental sharpness. It spots subtle patterns in routine clinical tests and MRI brain scans that would be missed by the human eye. 40% uh, of dementia cases could be avoided or the disease can be slowed down by changing lifestyle factors. But for that, it has to happen early. If it's late, lots of damage has happened in the brain, it's very hard to change that. A more accurate way of identifying people likely to develop Alzheimer's is even more urgent. Now new, effective treatments are coming on stream, but they only work in the very early stages of the disease. And at the moment, most people are diagnosed too late, if at all. You can see there's lots of atrophy. Importantly, the AI tool can also identify patients who won't develop Alzheimer's, whose mental sharpness is blunted for other reasons like anxiety or depression. There are two people that I can't distinguish as a doctor what's going to happen to them in the next six months. But this tool is telling us, well, this person's going to decline rapidly, this person's going to stay stable, and that's a massive step forward in what we can do to support people. Alison and Charlie have always enjoyed cycling. Now it's on a tandem. A diagnosis has helped give her freedom so she can enjoy life without worrying so much about her symptoms. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Cambridge.